Good evening. This is DCOM 20. Malik D. Evans, mayor of the city of Rochester. Rochester, New York has issued another local state of emergency. The state of emergencies have been going on for years. As you see by the state of emergency, as of last week, there have been 179 shooting victims this year, 289 shooting victims in 2023, and 339 shooting victims two years ago. As of last week, there have been 45 murders in Rochester, New York, a city that is run by Democrats, the Democrat yeah. mayor and the Democrat city council. As of last week, 45 murders in Rochester, 58 murders last year, 76 homicides in 2022. Malik D. Evans is a Democrat. Not surprisingly, earlier this year, there was a mass shooting at Martin Luther King Jr. Park. And what did the Democrat politicians do in Rochester, New York, with this news that there was going to be probably trouble? They did nothing. The police were not told to come to the area. The state police were not told to come to the area. The sheriff's department was not told to come to the area. The National Guard was not told to come to the area. Instead, the city of Rochester run by Democrats, sat there as six young, beautiful, black American residents were shot in Martin Luther King Jr. Park in downtown Rochester. In the middle of the city, there was a mass shooting, and it was posted on X, which means everybody knew about it, and... The city police, as much as they wanted to be there to stop the crime and to help people, were obviously told by Democrats, stay away. But what the police weren't told was police have to stay away and these mass shootings have to happen to help Democrats. When the mass shootings happen, then Democrats can go up and say, we have to get rid of the Second Amendment, less guns less freedom that we have illegal an illegal gun problem in this community and we know that we have many young people more like ussr more like china more like mao stalin pol pot more like jim jones by keeping police away from areas where they know gun violence is going to happen that's how much they care unbelievable so as you see rochester is a violent place actually earlier this year DCOM 20 was in Washington, D.C., around the monuments. DCOM 20 was walking around at nighttime without a worry. It was posted on the DCOM 20 YouTube channel. Somebody remarked that he found it odd that I was walking around Washington, but I generally don't leave the automobile in Rochester. And he's right. It's scary to go to Rochester. It's a dangerous place. And what's shocking is this, I believe, gutless mayor knows that it's terrible but he puts this press release out state of emergency local state of emergency earlier this year the state police or was it last year the state police were one incident when it was a high-speed chase from outside the city the bad guy got to the city the state police were there caught him and took care of it however the city democrats don't bring in outside help to stop the shootings as much as they should and furthermore, we know by the fact that they, the, it was posted on X that there was going to be trouble that night, and nobody did anything. The shooting was practically in eyesight of City Hall. City Hall in Rochester, New York, run by Democrats. And what did they do? Instead of looking out the window of City Hall, instead of the Democrats looking out the window at City Hall, looking down the road at a great park dedicated to civil rights hero, Martin Luther King Jr., what did the Democrats do? They shut the blinds and let six young, beautiful, black American citizens get shot. Instead of calling the police, you could even call 911, say, yeah, there's a whole gang of people. I just saw an X. There's a gang of people in Martin Luther King Jr. Park, and it looks like trouble. The police could have sent a car there, and then if he saw trouble, they could have sent even more cars there. As the city of Rochester mayor said in November 2022. The questions that this community needs to ask and people who may have information on this case is what if it was your child? What if it was your baby? And I want to put into perspective 12 years old. Think about it, 12 years old. And I looked at this, this, this young man. 
And he continues to say on the city of Rochester website, see something, say something. Democrats, there was a message sent to you. It was on X, which is owned by African-American Elon Musk, the richest man in the world. This great African-American bought X for the betterment of the people. And here, a great American Uber driver who Biden would call garbage and who Democrats have disdain for because he uh, has a regular job. He posted it on X. He followed the city of Rochester orders. See something, say something. He posted on X so everybody in the world could see it. Even people in China could get on X, some, and see that there was a problem in Rochester. The people in City Hall could have looked at their phone and said, hey, that Uber driver's posting something about trouble. Maybe we should get a a cop car or two down there to MLK June so we don't have another mass shooting. Democrats didn't say that. Who exactly saw that post? And why is the Rochester media completely ignoring it? Why does the Rochester media not ask Mayor Obama Jr. about his see something, say something, and then you do nothing about it? What's the problem? Be honest. A Walgreens just closed in Rochester, New York, or will be closing. The mayor's at rage over it. Yet it's because of the mayor. If the mayor had the guts to stand up and uh, uh, have the police there and, and provide the security that he talks about, the store wouldn't have closed. But he failed. He's an empty suit. He has a local state of emergency, which I I don't know what that means. I don't think it means anything. There's more shootings and violence in Rochester than you can count. It's it's unbelievable. It doesn't end. Local media can't cover it all because they're, they're, well, maybe they should try covering it. They haven't gave a description out of uh, one bad guy in years. That's all corrupt just to help Democrats. Better take the pressure off the Democrats running these cities because they might lose some more elections like they just did. Guys got hammered. Why? Because you let your city be run by criminals. What's the matter with you people? And you just lie about it. And the local mayor's still up to it. He's still wholeheartedly a Democrat. Show some 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 concern about people. You imagine if Republicans let all these uh people get shot like the way Democrats do? You imagine that. But since it's Democrats, it's okay. The local media seems to only care about violence when it could help Democrats. If it doesn't help Democrats, the media will do one story. And generally, that's it. Maybe two. Actually, I was looking at that mass shooting that uh, DCOM 20 covered heavily in Martin Luther King Jr. Park, the one that was uh, ignored by the Democrat Party, where six beautiful young black folks were, were shot, possibly in the ass. Don't call me hunk. Obama Mini Mart, Rochester, New York. When I want my cold drinks, I come to Obama's Mini Mart because I don't want to be playing. Don't you play enough, fool. You hear me? Get your wig all worked up now and shit. She. Good evening, everybody. This is DCOM 20 here in Rochester, New York. This here, if you haven't seen this before, is in Rochester. And this is a beacon to the Trump jet to guide him to land at the Rochester airport and come and visit the people here in Rochester and save the people here in Rochester to rise up and use your great leadership skills here in Rochester, New York, along Lake Ontario, east of Buffalo, Love Canal, Niagara Falls, north of cleveland that's right this is a item for trump this is decom 20 thank you good afternoon this is decom 20 victor new york this here's a delta sonic here right next to the wendy's burger king planet fitness over there valvoline oil uh, change place does a great job went there the other day this is what here uh what like i said delta sonic uh, there's guys working up there. I don't see any transsexuals, chicks with dicks, he, she's, any of the RuPaul. I don't see any of them up there. How come there are no he, she's up here climbing up, working on this metal? We have no transsexuals, he, she's, dykes, vedicas, all just white guys. Come on, Democrats. Get your he, she's and your transsexuals out here in these jobs. They can work on their nails on top of this building, this is DCOM 20 from Victor, New York. Thank you. Like and Good afternoon. This is DCOM 20 here in downtown Rochester next to this giant building. Here on this wonderful late February day, some guy just standing. Good afternoon. This is DCOM 20. Good afternoon, this is DCOM 20. 
here in Rochester, New York. I love this message here to Donald Trump saying, you are welcome here, Donald Trump. Come, fly here, Donald Trump, on your private jet and save us. Come, Donald. We are inclusive, inclusive of you and everything you stand for, Donald. We are here for you, Donald. That's what this mural says, this lovely, beautiful mural, that lovely lady who obviously loves Donald Trump and supports Donald and everything he does and will probably be a local representative here in Rochester for Donald Trump this year. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is DCOM 20 on a snowy day here in spring 2024. God bless. Yes, that's right. DCOM 20. Good afternoon. This is D Good evening, everybody. DCOM 20, Kensington, Philadelphia. Good afternoon, DCOM 20. Down here visiting friends in Philadelphia, having a great day. It's a wonderful afternoon. Plenty for everybody. Me and my friends have a great time down here. Good afternoon, DCOM 20, Philadelphia. When I'm in Philly, I cut to Bryant's. 3311 Kensington Ave. DCOM. Good, after Good afternoon, DCOM 20, here in Philadelphia. When I'm in Philadelphia and I need appliances like refrigerators, I come to 3456 Kensington Ave. Harrogate Appliances. It's a long time business, trustworthy and honest, and in a great neighborhood. Clean, safe, wonderful Kensington. I come here for my appliances. This is DCOM 20. Good afternoon, DCOM 20. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, near Kensington. This is DCOM 20, it's 12.55 p.m. Not sure what's going on there. It doesn't look normal. He may have a medical condition. Is that a seizure? Or fine China heroin? Or cartel heroin? There you go, just relax. Relax. Take it easy, DCOM 20, out. Good afternoon, DCOM 20, Philadelphia. 2220 Allegheny. Fine day here in Philly, 91 degrees. Good afternoon, DCOM. Good evening, this is DCOM.
good evening. This is DCOM 20, West 38th Street and 7th Ave, New York City, Times Square back that way. This is a great city. I'm having a great night. It's safe. Good evening. This is DCOM 20 here in Rochester, New York. Right outside of Obama Mini Mart. I love coming to Obama Mini Mart. Obama Mini Mart is in a great neighborhood. All the windows have bars all over them. So you know it's safe because all the windows are all uh, safe. Good evening. This is DCOM 20. It's Rochester, New York. Martin Luther King Jr. Park. 1.38 a.m. It's very gay here. Got the lights there. And this flag there. But, when, of course, when you think gay, of course, you think... Uh, mass shootings that's why you got the police security another security car and two more security and that's just standing right here people what a great day and of course all of this is to support the communist Marxist socialist hoo-ha that's uh, sprayed all over that wall including the blonde girl Rochester New York this is DCOM 20 Sport police. Good afternoon. This is DCOM 20. I'm done playing. All right. That's why I'm here at Obama Mini Mart in Rochester, New York, a wonderful corner establishment in a great neighborhood. As you can see by the bars absolutely surrounding every window there is. And where there, are, where there isn't bars, there's cinder blocks. What a great store. Good afternoon. Good evening. This is DCOM 20. This is Grape Street. Right here in front of me is Orange Street. You wouldn't know it, but this is a dangerous neighborhood if you're a cop. DCOM 20 out. Good evening. This is DCOM 20 here on Grape Street. A cop car was shot right here. This is Grape and Orange. A cop car was shot with a cop in there earlier tonight. Dangerous neighborhood. DCOM 20, out. Good evening, this is DCOM. Good afternoon. DCOM 20, 104A and Kramer. Back that way is Fairhaven. 